What's up, YouTube? We're going to have a serious talk. Like many of you, 2020 forced me to ask some big questions of myself, of what I thought of the world, but also, how am I going to make any money? Let's go back to March 2020. It's like the first week of March. I'm making most of my income, or at least like a big chunk of my income came from performing music live. So like I teach college classes, I do some freelance work, like freelance writing work, that sort of thing. But like, I got this weird music thing happening. I'm booking gigs. You look at my calendar at the beginning of March, 2020, it was booked out most of the year and it was only getting better and then it happened the sky fell I played my last gig I think on March 14th which was already like pushing pushing things a little too far in terms of into the pandemic right because a week later everything shut down so I try to do Instagram Live, IGTV. I'm like performing. I'm giving people my like Venmo account. Send me money. I don't know what to do. And you know, it was pretty good for a little bit. Like people were excited. IGTV like blew up. Everybody's online all at once, right? We're all on Zoom. And I think like as time started kind of going, we've really got burnout. I got burnout. I got tired of playing my guitar in front of a iPhone, you know? And so, here we are. And I had to make some big choices, like many of you did too. But what does one do when you have like all this free time? You like try to keep yourself busy and you try to keep yourself excited. If you're like creative, which I imagine many of you are, you're a creative person, you like try to find ways to express that creativity and like, I didn't want to write anymore. I didn't want to play the guitar anymore. Like it all just seemed so stale. But somehow, or some way, like I just started like really thinking about photography, right? It was like something I loved and have done as far as I can remember, right? Like probably like ninth, 10th grade, I took a photography class in school. We're developing in a dark room. And then, you know, I go like to college, I major in creative writing. I'm always taking pictures, you know, and maybe not like thinking about it in a professional sense, but I just enjoy it, right? I like composing shots. I love looking at photography. It's just part of the thing. It's part of my creative thing, right? And so in college, I take some more photography, more developing dark rooms and, and just doing it and doing it. And then like my musical sort of life starts taking off and I'm like performing, still taking pictures on the side, but not really like thinking about it much anymore. And like years go by like this and I'm writing and I'm taking pictures, but mostly I'm like focused on music and family starts. And of course I'm like, you're taking lots of pictures, which I love doing, right? I love taking pictures of my, my family and my kids and, and that's happening, but I never, thought maybe I could do something like this and fast forward all the way down to pandemic 2020 and I suddenly get this like bug that I need to be taking this more seriously but one of the things that I want to use this channel for and to like talk to you guys about maybe not all during this video is how do you jump into something when it seems so intimidating, right? So the first thing I did, right, I like, I went out and started like researching. I was like, all right, so I can't really afford a camera because like I just lost most of my income. Can't do it. What I can do is maybe like piece something together, right? Cause like I wanted, I never owned, aside from an iPhone, like a digital camera. I shot on film, I shot a lot on iPhone. I was like, wait, iPhone cameras pretty dope and it just keeps getting better and, and somehow I stumble onto like moment this is not a paid advertisement but it can be and so I bought some like moment lenses like these little guys right and it comes with the case 
you snap it on the case, and then we got like a 58 mil, 58 millimeter um, telephoto. I got this like ultra wide. I have um, <clears throat> an anamorphic lens, right? So what I'm saying is I probably spent as much money on these lenses as what I probably could have gotten a good starter camera for, but that's that's irrelevant. And so then I'm like <clears throat> really taking this seriously, and I want to do filmmaking, and I want to like you know travel in a pandemic, you know. And so this thing starts to escalate and I'm learning more and I'm practicing and I'm learning more and I'm practicing. And at one point I bought a camera and it's like this little guy right here, this little Fujifilm XE3. And it's, I mean, is it the best camera out there? No. Is it pretty great? Yes. The point is like this thing starts to steamroll. And so like, I have these like really lofty expectations of myself and like, I wanna make art. And I'm doing street photography and playing around with all this stuff. Of course, none of this is making any money. And early on I said, I was like, I am not gonna do like portraits. I am not ever gonna do a wedding. I am never family, por pet portraits. I had these like lofty expectations and what I recognized at some point was like, well, here's the thing. And I didn't come to this on my own, right? I like, you know, a photographer that I like on YouTube or something probably brought it up. It's like, you know, like you're always learning. So like do a wedding. And I was in no place to be doing a wedding, like experience wise, obviously I'm not saying I did a wedding. I still haven't done a wedding, but You're, I just wanted to learn. And so if I somehow can just like take pictures of people and portraits where I'm learning how to pose people, right? Cause I want to do like lifestyle shoots and that sort of thing. And <clears throat> I kind of threw it out there and I didn't charge a lot for it, but I was like, well, if I'm able to learn and take pictures and make a little money, what, right? And so we did it, and I booked my brother and his wife and their daughter, my niece, and they loved the pictures. And then they told people, and then other people were asking, well, like, how much do you charge? And then somebody else is asking, and then somebody else is asking, and, you know, it started out with family and friends, and they were giving me money, and they were telling other people about it. So... At what point do you call yourself a photographer? And I still struggle with that. For one, I don't want to do portraits. I don't want to do weddings because I'm an artist. And guess what? The first thing I learned more than anything else is you don't know. Because what happened was I'm taking these pictures and I'm getting paid for them. I kinda liked it. It was rewarding. And I learned things. And then I did a shoot with a baby. And that was challenging. And it was fun. And the pictures came out really dope. And then the mom, the baby's mom, not my mom, because she'll always my mom just tells me I'm great all the time. But the baby's mom wrote back when I delivered the pictures and said she had been looking at those pictures all day and she was crying. She was looking at herself and she's looking at her baby and the pictures I took of them moved her. What I discovered was I really love taking pictures. And I love taking pictures of like weird street stuff and just things that occur to me and I really like taking pictures of people and kind of capturing them and and bringing out the thing in them that they maybe don't see and what I really like is I like making people cry I like making people cry and I like when they tell me about it and so yeah this journey is like you don't know what's gonna happen and sometimes, and I'm really hesitant to say like something like a pandemic can be a good thing because many people were much, much worse off than me. 
and many people have struggled and are sick and have lost their life. And so I would never say it was a great thing. But it's opened a door, right? Because like doors close, other doors open. And sometimes we have to be willing to just jump in. And like, I'm still learning. And so part of this like journey and maybe like sharing with you guys, like learning and also learning how to be a creative person in the world and maybe how to live like that, how to discover yourself in that and maybe, you know, get paid in that, which is always hard. And so, so if you're getting paid to take pictures, does that make you a professional photographer? It's a good question. I struggle with it too. I struggle with it too, because people are paying me to take their pictures and they're excited about them and they like them. And I still don't consider myself to be at a level where I'd want to be. But maybe that's just the life, right? That's just what we do. We keep challenging ourselves. We keep trying to get better. And maybe people throw us a little money along the way. So I don't know. These are all big questions and um, questions that I hope to like share with you guys and maybe get some feedback, right? Because like there's nothing without a community. And if like I learned anything in like last year and in this sort of journey was that like cool I'm taking pictures and I'm excited but like without a community that supports that without a community to learn from which there are like so many you know just amazing photographers out there that are like willing to share their just experience their knowledge I'm gonna go outside now and I'm gonna take some pictures and then maybe I'll share them with you guys and maybe you can share stuff with me too and we can keep growing this crazy community of photographers because it's like huge and so much good work and so much to learn from, so much to teach. Whew. YouTube. Let's just make cool stuff and let's share it and see what happens. Because 2020 taught us that we just don't know anything. We don't know anything. And actually, that's actually pretty cool if we let it be. All right, so you know what to do. If you dig this, you want to hang out more, I learn from you, you learn from me. We just share stories. It's what it is, you know? Hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends to kind of follow along in this weird journey because it's weird. All right. See you in the next video.